Hey guys, so today in my channel I'm going to react to Eurovision songs from 2023 and I'm super excited. I'm from Israel as you know, so we do take part in the Eurovision. Tons of all the countries that are going to take part in the Eurovision contest this year already published their songs and I'm super excited. I wasn't always a fan of the Eurovision, not in a bad way, I just didn't want to stay up late and watch it. I don't know why, but in the last few years, I take a lot more interest in doing that. So I thought to myself, why not react to it? From a girl that's not the best in telling you what she thinks about Eurovision in general, but does love music and have a lot of things to say about it, which I'm gonna be very respectful because every one of those artists work very hard and it doesn't matter what they think about Israel right now because we're here for the music and not for the politics and things like this. If you like this video, give me a like, write a comment down below if you want me to react to more of the countries and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. My channel is in English, but my podcast is in Hebrew. So if you know Hebrew, it's great for you if you want to listen to my podcast as well. If you don't, sorry. And for my Hebrew speakers, I have subtitles, so have fun. So the first song I'm gonna listen to I see it's the newest song and it's Luke Blake, Samo Mi Se Spava, it's from Serbia. Let's do this. Excited me. Super, super excited. Oh, also, say hi to Papa. He's a rat. And it's live, so that's cool. I gotta say, it has a vibe. It looks very technical and new era kind of vibe. It's a cool guy. He has a lot of confidence in himself, I can see that. <laughs> Those head twists. I like it. Okay, the dance is so... It looks like he's an octopus and all of those people are connected to his legs. I have no idea what he's saying. But it never stopped me from loving foreign music before, so we don't care. They look like soldiers for a bit. Oh, he's cool. He started dancing. In a weird way, but I like it because it seems very emo. And all of the things they show behind him, it feels like he came from an anime. Which I guess maybe it was where he wanted to take it to. Oh, he's disconnecting these people from the octopus legs. <laughs> okay, that was cool. I think Serbia is cool. I don't know if I'd listen to this song by myself and most of the Eurovisions that I did watch, I do like to take some songs and they're my favorite and I add them to my playlist. Because when I watch the Eurovision, I do want to see weird songs because I expect it to happen from Europe because, you know, everyone has different culture and different aspects they want to bring into their song, which is very cool. But I do want this song to be a song that, although it's different from something that I'm used to because I'm from Israel, most of us are affected by USA, let's be real. But still, I want it to be a part of my playlist on a day-to-day -day basis. The next song I'm going to listen to is from Poland. And I saw some comments that they do not like their representative this year because some corporate chose her and her song is solo. Her name is Blanca. Okay, it's live performance. 
I like what she wears and she looks very cute. She actually looks like Violetta if you watched it, like Titi. She has dancers, that's cool. But I must say that I don't like her voice. She's really cute though. And this song is in English, so I do understand what she's saying. Okay, it does seem like a song that I would listen to if I went with my friends somewhere. Because that's really fun and catchy. But I don't really like her voice, though she's really cute, as I said. And this song is really cute, so I don't know how it will look on the big stage, but when I look at Eurovision songs, I look for something more poppy, like more than poppy. It can be poppy, I don't care, but I want the performance to be wow. And I don't know if it's going to be the routine. Because she looks like she's tired a bit, so I have no idea. Maybe in the big stage she's gonna bring it out in the best way ever, and it's gonna be super good. Okay, the next place is the Netherlands, because I have to know the Netherlands, so let's listen to the Netherlands. It's Mia Nicolai and Dion Cooper. Oh, that's a clip, a video clip. I don't find any joy anymore. His voice, I hope it sounds like this live. His voice sounds like he's from the Chainsmokers. It kind of sounds like a Chainsmoker song. I've never been good at crying, always wanted to be the tough type. I'm sorry, I'm just human, I'm losing my That's beautiful. Okay, now the girl. She sounds really good. I have no idea how the performance is going to be because it's a video clip, so I don't really get to see a glance. But it's a duo and it's quiet for a bit. So I think it's gonna be more of a sensual feeling when they're going to sing. And I like those performances as well. It depends on the song. Oh, they sound very good together. Okay, I must say that this song I'm totally going to add to my playlist and to my phone because those are the songs that I wanna see. I think those are songs that get us to connect to other people that are not a creator and not a performer for our country. Just listen to them and put them in our playlist. And it doesn't matter if they sing in English or not in English, you just need to feel like you can connect to it. Let's keep on to our next contestant. Okay, Denmark, really breaking my heart. That looks interesting. He looks very young. Oh, that's fun. That's a fun song. Oh, that's so cute with the hearts and he's wearing pink. Boys, you should wear pink. It's a color for all. I'm not sure if it's totally an Eurovision song that I would expect because it's a little bit remixy. But I think it's cool and it doesn't matter because as I said, Eurovision songs just need to make you feel that you connect to the singer and it doesn't matter where he's from or what's the type, what the genre of the music is. Okay, I just wanna say, he's still really cute and the song is really nice and catchy as well. And although, I don't know where I'm gonna rank this boy, he's a good one. He's one of the good ones. Okay, I wanna react to Norway. Alessandra, Queen of, of Kings. I like the name, Alessandra, you have this. 
Norway. I was always intrigued by Norway and Norwegian singers like Emily Nicholas. Love her and Astrid. Love her. That's a cool vibe. It gives me a little bit of the culture. Her voice is crazy. It's a little bit Oprah, Oprah kind of vibe, but not really. She's a Disney princess, you guys. But she's a Disney princess who became a villain. And I live for it. That's cool. And I hope she's gonna wear it in the real performance because she looks so good. And it catches my eye. So much power in this song. And this girl has a crazy voice. I knew I'm going to love Norway. I don't know if it's a song that I would listen to and put in my playlist, but it's totally a song to rock to with your friends or when you want to feel badass. And the last song that we're gonna listen to for today is going to be Spain song because I love Spain and I love Spanish and I hope she will sing in Spanish. The song is by Blanca Paloma and it's called E. I hope I pronounced it right, I don't think so, but I don't know how to read this word and I'm studying Spanish, so I'm sorry. I like the start of the song. It reminds me of ancient Egypt or something, but it's Spain. I love the girl power, tons of girls. I have no idea what they're saying, but it seems serious. Something about the night, I'm going to see this night. It is Spanish. It took me a while. Nino mini mio. Oh, my boy, my little boy. Okay, it has a lot of Spanish vibes with those clapping. I have to check what she's saying. This song has a lot of vibes that reminds me of culture vibes, which, as I said, I think it's part of the Eurovision to bring something from your country and not just go on the mainstream so people will pick me. I need to work on my Spanish. I think we concluded this the best way. I hope you liked this video. If you want me to react to more of the songs, let me know. But I think we did well. We did a good job, right? It's a rat. Okay, <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next video. Bye.